What's up, Soul Tribe? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekend vibes. So, this is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Strong urge from within, move on. So maybe y'all following this urge finally, you get what I'm saying? Like it could be an energy around, you know, y'all feeling the need to like leave something behind because y'all feel curious about something else. All right. So somebody got y'all want to move on out of a relationship. All right. <laughs> and it's like, damn, you could have had a person that recently had a baby with you. I could be talking of uh, masculine fire signs. But it's giving an energy where it's kind of like, you know, that's a problem. You know, it's like the problem is the problem is, is that you either got a newborn or somebody that recently lost a child here. OK, so it's like even though y'all maybe want to move on, y'all may feel like it's being like it's uncompassionate right now because, you know, maybe somebody just had your baby, you know. But it's like somebody that's artistic and creative and imaginative got y'all all up in y'all head and feeling kind of curious it's like y'all don't want to look immature y'all don't want to look stupid so maybe it's like y'all like so some of y'all might have a newborn okay because it's given that y'all don't want to look like uh like y'all just be an immature idiot like y'all just as soon as somebody had your baby you just leave and go off and explore your curiosities and stuff like that so y'all trying to be mature about the situation Y'all may be turned off by y'all partner that y'all want to leave behind because maybe y'all feel like they're immature. Like even if they have a new baby, it may not be slowing them down or they may not be growing up or making decisions for themselves. All right. So, yeah. This person may also be telling you that they are pregnant and not really pregnant. OK, some of y'all been having a strong urge from within to move on for at least the past year now. and Y'all just haven't did anything because somehow some way it's like y'all reputation is connected to this relationship and it's like y'all don't want to look stupid so it may be a lot of people that's like dipping in y'all business or that's involved in y'all relationships son y'all <laughs> y'all i'm telling you especially either their parent or yours but somebody here is like son don't do that like basically i raised you better than that the girl had your baby or the girl pregnant don't just leave them because you want to go explore your curiosities and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? This person may have some dirty bedroom secrets on you if I'm talking to the masculine. All right. So just keep in mind, you could be the person that this person is curious about. You could be the masculine or you could be the person here that's trying to prevent this person from walking away. Take it as it resonates, you guys. But it's like somebody here really want things to work, okay? So that's what I mean. It's like either somebody got a newborn or somebody here is pretending to be pregnant because they want this person to stay. And they could feel, somebody here can feel the fact that um, there's a disconnect, okay? That somebody is already emotionally checked out. And they can also feel that uh, the energy is being directed towards somebody else. Like somebody is curious about somebody new. They see somebody is artistic and creative, or whatever the case is, uh, and it, it got them, it, yeah, they feel like this is their dream person, so yeah, this creative, imaginative person is, is somebody's dream person, I love you more than them, damn, and somebody here is still trying to convince their current person that nothing is wrong, so you get what I'm saying, somebody here is leading someone on, but they got this urge from within to move on, so somebody might have to end up ghosting somebody, because they cannot, Someone here is unable to be honest with their real feelings. Someone is ready to leave a relationship and they're not saying it. Okay? Another person is not ready to let go. And somebody else here can just be like oblivious to everything. Oblivious to the fact that somebody that's in a relationship with a possible child on the way or a new child here is crushing on them or curious about them or whatever the case is. But somebody's vision of what they want their partner to be like has changed. And that could be why clown, joker, immature, trickster spirit is here. Because somebody here is growing up and the other person is not. And their taste and people are changing, okay? So that could be you, fire signs. And I feel like that's how I'm going to tell it. <laughs> I'm going to tell it from the male's perspective today, guys, because it seemed like I'm talking to the male. 
All right, so the masculine energy in this situation has definitely uh, left the building on an emotional note from a situation where they deeply invested, but now they feel like they outgrown a person. Why is clown jokester, immature trickster spirit here? They feel like this feminine energy is, is immature now, and they just not turned on by that. Y'all, I see radical forgiveness sets you free from past unhealthy connections in all directions of time and space, past, present, and future. Somebody's trying to cut the cords because they feel like the stars are aligning for a new type of love. All right, superstar. Somebody that they see as a superstar. Maybe you are, okay? For those of you uh, where it's like this person is curious about you, you may be a star, okay? You may be somebody who your artistic and creative ability gains you some type of popularity or fame or something to that extent. So it's like, damn, you got somebody intrigued here. Why is short hair here? What that got to do with anything? This may be somebody in your life with short hair that may be dating somebody with short hair. You may have short hair. Okay, why short hair here? Somebody may be getting a haircut this weekend. Okay, hold on, y'all. So I'm getting that these two could even be like a high school, like high school sweethearts. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting my grass done. <laughs> Tis the season. My grass gotta get a haircut. Hold on. Okay, it's a little more faded now. But yeah, this could have been somebody that was a high school sweetheart to them. Damn, y'all a star seed and a superstar. It's like y'all a star in this person's eyes. It's them. They going to get a haircut this weekend. So maybe they planning on bumping into you. Like, I don't know if you work with this person or if you follow this person online. But they hoping that they catch your attention just the way that you have theirs, okay? Dang, y'all. I should have waited to start this video. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Damn, y'all sending this person through an awakening. I'm seeing a dark night of the soul here. So, yeah. This person this person has promised to change their ways so many times. And it's like everybody see them as this one thing. Whatever this is that they were. a uh, Bad boy, living on the edge. Whatever they was doing here. Okay, but they've outgrown this image. Is what I'm getting here. They want their family to let their experiences teach them not define who they are so basically they want people to stop expecting them to stay with the same person for the rest of their life or to have the same dreams or be the same type of person or make their money the same type of way it's like this person is ready to grow up especially now that they're going through a dark night of the soul and everything that they knew as truth is now being dismantled okay so yeah it's like you could have stepped away from this person because if they tried to deal with you while they was in a relationship, it was draining your energy because not only was they low vibrational, but they was also dealing with somebody low vibrational. So this could have came off as, you know, so pretty much we got a complicated situation here because somebody here want to fight for it because of the longevity, because of appearances, because it's going to be embarrassing to break up after so long. And somebody here is ready to release and let go. And like I said, some of y'all could be the ones that's the innocent bystander that don't know that somebody is like really basking in your light. They really love in your light. They ready to stop disguising themselves as a friend. So yeah, this could be like a coworker or somebody that you know that's within your friend group. Okay, spirit does not approve. Let's see why that's here. If they don't approve of the new connection or if they don't approve of this old connection that this person been clinging on to for quite some time. Why doesn't spirit approve? Yin and yang is in reverse. Let's see. Why doesn't spirit approve here? Okay. Crying, lurk, lurking, stalking, sending monitoring spirits. Ooh, they don't approve of their relationship with this baby mom. Okay, they feel like this connection was built strictly off of, uh, you know, the sexual aspects. This masculine is working too hard. And they invited you into their life or they summoned you into their life by being kinder to themselves. So this person started treating themselves with more respect. They with somebody here that may be childish and immature and a trickster spirit. And it's like they working hard in life. Um, they trying to work and save for a dream home. But these two don't have the same vision is what I'm getting. They constantly being gaslighted by this woman. Uh, the woman constantly plays games by ghosting them. 
uh, expecting this masculine to read their mind. So this masculine is the one that's like kind of, uh, I don't want to say a victim in this situation, but he was supposed to learn this lesson from this relationship, but he feel like this relationship shouldn't define him. It's like, this is not my future person. This was somebody I was here to learn from, grow up with, you know what I'm saying? Like they grew up from this situation. They realize what they like and what they don't like. And I feel like this person is still trying to figure out what they like because it's just saying that they're curious about you. But their curiosity is causing enough disturbance within their energy to make them feel like they got a strong urge from within to leave behind the situation that they currently are in. Okay? So let's see, y'all. Because I ain't going to make y'all read too long. <laughs> I'm still giving my grass cut, but it seems like it's idle right now. Okay, so let's see. Let us see, let us see, let us see. Let's pick all this up. Okay, so let's see. What else is coming in for fire signs? Well, y'all, it's not destined. Like, uh, spirit don't approve of this relationship, and that's why it's not working out. So, yeah, somebody is trying to heal from a broken heart or trying to avoid having to experience a broken heart. These two could have been a, a perfect match in the past is what I'm getting. Y'all may be the odd couple, okay? So, masculine, oh, if I'm talking to the masculine, you and a new person that you're curious about, y'all might be the odd couple, but you and a person that you was with at some point in life, y'all was a perfect match. So maybe one partner in your life uh, like mirrors the the lower version of yourself and the other one mirrors the, the higher version of yourself. So you may be making a complete turnaround, a complete change. And it's like you're going to notice that you, you seem more like or you seem more like the mirror image of the one that you're curious about as you, you know, come up out of this awakening or come up out of this dark night of the soul. So it's like you making some type of transformation and you realizing that somebody is more like you than what you thought. Y'all could have thought that they was like opposites. Like, damn, if opposites attracts was a person because maybe this new person is not your usual type. And that's why it's curiosity right now. Curiosity is turning into intrigue. Intrigue is turning into to like, you know, uh, sparking an interest to want to change your life in some sense. Okay. Y'all, I'm telling you, like the, the other person, the person that you now leaving behind, they made more sense in the past. So, yeah, y'all, y'all get, y'all act together. I'm trying to tell y'all. So, y'all can be in a, a relationship where one person is getting clean and the other person is not. Okay. And that could be another thing that I was talking about when it come down to your partner. And if y'all got a newborn baby, like this person still may be indulging in their addictions, even though they a new mother. And that, that's just turning you off. Like, that's not how I imagine childhood. I quit. Why can't you quit? You the one that's supposed to be breastfeeding and shit. Like, <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But this is just definitely giving me like y'all been depriving yourself of something new and something good for a long time because y'all been sticking around in a situation out of, uh, okay. Okay, but um, what was I about to say? It's like y'all been depriving yourself of like, you know, getting to know somebody that could be better for you because y'all been feeling obligated to stay in something else because it's a lot of people with an opinion that's saying you should stick with this person. You've been with them so long. Y'all been together so long. Y'all got a baby now. You get what I'm saying? You my son. I, I taught you better than this. Yeah, it's like people don't like the new version of you. You being yourself and people think you being something other than yourself. So you may be having people trying to like say, who who you trying to impress? You get what I'm saying? But y'all feel like y'all haven't had a clear solution until now. And then I feel like some type of spell work is breaking. So y'all could have been with a person that tried every spell in a book to keep y'all in clue and fertility. And nothing is keeping you anymore. Okay? To the person that, that's looking to walk away. Now, you could be watching this as a cross-watcher reading. However, it can make it as it resonates. But it's a masculine here that want to get up and walk away. And everybody else is encouraging them to stay and... The woman that they did, you know, either just had a baby or lying about a pregnancy. And it's a star seed. It's a star seed in the midst. 
a star seed that uh this person's curiosity is sparked by that's yep i'm telling you it's a more modest person here okay it's a more modest person here okay i ain't gonna lie like even though this person is covering themselves up with their hair this could be the person that's being left behind because somebody isn't truly secure you know, you may be this star seed energy where it's like you are authentic and raw. And that could be what the nakedness represents. It's like rawness, purity. You know, babies are born into this world naked. So it's like, you know, you may be this one that's like you authentically, you, you confident, you standing, you walking, standing in your shit. You know what I'm saying? And then somebody else here don't really know who they are. And that's why they shy and timid and covering themselves up. Because it's like, I, I don't really know who I am to even say what the real me is. Somebody's still trying to learn and find their way. And the masculine beating them to the punch. So, in essence, somebody here is outgrowing their partner. It's like, we've been together for a long time, I know. But what my taste was at 15 is not the same as what it is at 28, 29, 30. Somebody could be going through a Saturn of return. Yeah, four of pentacles. Holding on to a fallen angel. That's why spirit don't approve because this person is a demon at spirit. Okay, that woman, they 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 could be a feminine narcissist. Okay, because I was getting gaslighting. This person is constantly trying to trigger and guilt trip this masculine into staying in the situation that they no longer resonate with. This masculine still want to be friends. It's like, I feel like we should still be friends. Or this is the friendship between y'all. Y'all could be friends. Y'all could have been friends for at least a year now. Okay. And they no longer want to be manipulated. Y'all. Mm -hmm. So who is who? Somebody been doing everything they can, even threatening to off themselves. Okay. Yeah. So they partner been threatening to self-harm or, uh, or, you know, end it, end it, end themselves. And that's what's been keeping them. That's what's been keeping them holding on. But the angels is guiding this person away from this. Yeah. Like, I don't know how y'all feel about this. Yeah, because y'all know shit. Y'all know this could be a Libra, okay? Pisces or Libra energy. Libra with Pisces moon, okay? Some of y'all could be the Pisces or y'all could just be a high priestess. When I'm talking, now I'm talking to the person that they're curious about. Okay, so the star seed, uh, the, the superstar, the, the artistic and creative being. Okay, you guys could be the high priestess energy and this person feel like it's about time. You get what I'm saying? You know, they want to bring you some type of justice here and they coming back to you purified is what I'm seeing here. They're coming back to give you some type of offering or they think about how you came into their life and gave them some type of offering that made them become clear on life in their direction. And that they weren't on the right path. This person has been anticipating, like, telling the truth and giving you some type of clarity. Because they feel like you don't know how they feel. And maybe y'all do, but maybe y'all, you know, it could be one of them situations where you questioning if it's the ego or if it's, you know, what, you know, what's really going on. It's like, is my intuition correct this time? Or am I just tripping? You know, main male. Let's see. Let's get us a couple of shuffles, y'all. All right, so we the lovers was the first card out. Shit, major arcana. This is a major a major choice, and this person is having to choose between a higher self and a lower self. Choose between a decision that's going to be going to be fitting for either their higher self or their lower self. Okay, so why is the lovers here, y'all? And you may be the more mature one. It could be an age difference. Okay, so why is the four of pentacles here? Y'all, I'm telling you, y'all stay loyal to this person because y'all have been the masculine energy I'm talking to that's ready to go. You've been loyal to whoever you with for a really long time. Maybe y'all was even childhood friends and this turned into love because I'm getting a sense where y'all was very immature when y'all met this person or very young or both. Okay, and then when this person started threatening to do something to harm themselves, if you leave, you felt obligated to stay because you, you genuinely care about this person. But you feel like on a romantic note, y'all outgrowing, outgrowing the vibes. Ten of Wands, y'all. Somebody here recognized that they was holding themselves back from genuine change, even though they've been getting messages from the universe here. Okay, y'all. And they see you as an upgrade or uh, masculine energies. You see this star seed as an upgrade. And y'all been keeping that on the low. Now it's like y'all finally ready to make some type of decision here. Okay. What 
why is the okay we're gonna try to wrap this on up y'all let's see page not page but why is the knight of pentacles here I'm telling you because y'all was friends y'all was friends and all along this person was thinking about you oh my goodness is this is this person's mother that made the choice for them okay because y'all coming up as the main male and they friends on to this for another situation So their mother, the person they chose, it's their mother's choice. That's why son is there. Ten of swords. Y'all. Damn. But y'all, this is just seeming like a situation where a friend is just literally confessing that they want to be more, y'all. And it's like they feel like they got the advice from the wrong people um, to like leave this behind and like continue to be with somebody that they knew since they were younger okay so yeah we gonna wrap it on up y'all um earth signs i'll give y'all some type of bonus a little bit later because i know y'all's reading was kind of disrupted and kind of quick but we'll put y'all up a bonus later so be looking be looking out okay y'all like share comment and subscribe join the soul tribe and i'll check you guys out on the next one peace